Oh man. Oh jeez, that should be illegal. Hey guys, what's up? James here from Tools for 20 and today we're going to be reviewing the Airizer Extreme Q and we're going to see if it's actually still any good in 2021. This vape has been out for a long time and people all over the internet have recommended this vape and we're just going to go into, you know, all the important things about this vape and if it's still good now. So let's get right into it. So first we're going to start what's in the box and how to use it. In the box, of course, you get a full user manual. Of course, you need one of these to use your vaporizer. You'll get all the little pieces and tools that you'll need. And here you'll find your balloons, you'll find your remote, you'll find aromatherapy herbs, you'll find your connectors, adapters, whip pieces, and all that. This entire kit comes with everything that you'll need to get started and going, and really you don't need much else. You can upgrade parts later and mix and match pieces to fit in the Extreme Q, but all in all you get everything that you need. To use the Extreme Q, you can either use the remote or you can use the onboard settings here. Just hold down that power button for a bit, and you can adjust your temperature right here as you see the numbers change. If you want to get into the menu setting to use the fans on the device, all you have to do is press M and it'll change all the settings, timers, temperature, fan, and off. There are two ways to fill the bowl and use the device. Either you can fill this chamber here with herb, uh, fill it just about, you know, as much as there. You don't want to pack it down too much because you still want airflow to work, especially if you're using the fan. Or what you could do is called elbow packing and you can just simply load your herb into the screen here, place it on top, and you're ready to go. Either method works. Elbow packing is a little bit better if you want to do microdosing or small doses, while the cyclone bowl is better for large doses and sharing with friends. All right, so we heated this up to 230 degrees Celsius. We let it preheat for about 15 minutes, so let's take some hits now. Cheers. Oh man. Mmm. Wow. Tasty, good hits. Those hits are nice, it hits hard, smooth, everything I could hope for. If you're not getting the expected results, definitely just put that temperature up. This longer bull size makes it a little bit, uh, you know, 230 is not actually 230, it feels more like 210 just because of the, you know, how they did it. So, eh, no problem, just turn the temperature up if you're not getting your results. Real satisfying. Open airflow. Honestly, for the price that you pay for this thing, it's good. If you are looking for the least expensive, heaviest hitting vaporizer, I think the Extreme Q is probably one of your best choices. See, desktop units are so good because you're not limited by battery. Uh, size constraints, heating constraints, you know, it's perfect and honestly for the price that you pay for an Extreme Q, you'll be hard to find anything at all better than it. Alright, we turned the fan on, let's hit it, here we go, cheers. Oh man. Oh gee. Oh my god. Oh man. All right, we got our fresh flower loaded into here. Let's uh, take some draws. Oh yeah. 
if you want this tip fits a 10 millimeter joint so if you have a 10 millimeter insert or whatever you can have plenty of fun and use your own bowl stuff for example if you're frisky you can use this little pocket bubbler which we sell you can throw it on here for a kind of water bubbler kind of vibe um, let's give it a try With the water you're able to get heavier hits because it just cools it down and filters the vapor a little bit and you're able to get like smoother mm, nicer hits oh man oh geez that should be illegal i'm so extremely hungry Yeah, this thing's pretty crazy, you know, not the end all and be all, but it's pretty crazy. What I really like is this vape has a lot of power, and what's nice is if you have your flour in the bowl, you can be hitting it for an hour, and your flour's not gonna go sour. Gotcha. <laughs> but also, you can use other uh, accessories, such as this J-hook, throw it on there. Gives a better cooling. Mm. This vape tastes so good because it uses pure convection heating, which very few portable dry herb vapes fully incorporate and use it properly. While desktop vapes with that unlimited power, you're given that ability to get that tasty vapor, that hard hitting vapor, and efficiency. And judging by the look of our flower in the bowl, it's still got a lot of life left. We can turn the temperature up. So why don't we just use all the herb that we've used so far and we're gonna turn up the temperature. One thing I'll mention is that when you're handling this device, you can actually fog. One thing I will note that when you handle this device, the glass bowl is gonna be really hot, but you can just pick it up by the silicone here. It's a little bit warm, but honestly, you can just hold on to this all day. So grab it from here, not from the glass, cause that hurts and it will burn you. We got up to max temperature. If you want to make your experience real bougie, just use a black whip, use a water bubbler with it, you know, up your, up your level a little bit. Cheers. Oh yeah. Wow. Hmm. Now, is not the end all and be all of dryer vaporizers. Other units like the Vapong and the Volcano Hybrid certainly hit a little bit harder, but you know, for the price that you pay for these guys, they will outperform any portable vaporizer out there. And you know, you have fan function, you have balloon function, you have all these fun features. So, yeah. You know what? Maybe we should do a balloon. Superimposed onto your screen is how to clean the Extreme Q. And you can see this Reclaim and Resin is actually good to reuse, so if you want to collect and harvest this, soak it in some milk, or do anything else with that, you're free to do that. Elsewise, just to clean it out, take the screens and all the glass pieces, and simply put it into a jar of isopropyl alcohol. Swish it around, leave it sit for 15 minutes, rinse it out, and it should be clean as can be ready to use it and that's all you have to do to clean the extreme q extreme q extreme who i think this vape is super good for the price it's going to outperform any portable vaporizer out there uh, aside from very very few and you know it's a top notch unit if you're if you do most of your vaporizing at home you know at the computer on the couch playing games hanging with friends this is the one that you want. It's a great price, great value, highly recommend it. Check out our website, we have reviews down below on almost every vaporizer out there. Anyways, thanks for watching our review. Catch you next time, watch our other stuff. Peace.